Well everyone, the iOS 16 update just officially came out, so let's go and do a comparison on the iPhone 8 between iOS 16 and iOS 15, basically just seeing which one is faster. So iOS 15 is on the right, iOS 16 is on the left, so let's get into it. Phone calls 3, 2, 1. iOS 15 definitely far faster here. All the apps are cluttered on the background as you guys can tell as well. Let's go and do music, 3, 2, 1. And you can probably see iOS 15, yep, is definitely the faster one here. 16 a little bit slower, with pretty basic application podcast, 3, 2, 1 iOS 15 again faster. It's going into App Store 3.2.1. There we go. So if those three applications are an indicator, it's quite obvious that iOS 15 is still going to be quite a bit faster than even the official version and the RC version of iOS 16. So definitely keep that in mind. Mail 3.2.1. This is also one of the older phones to keep in mind, and it will get better throughout time. But you can see right here while we're working with camera 3.2.1. Let's go and take a photo. Going to open a photo, and even there it was substantially faster on the iOS 15 to do that, which is pretty crazy. Photos 3, 2, 1. Okay, pretty much the same thing. Hopping out of this one, let's go and get into something like FaceTime. Oh, let's skip that one. Let's do clock 3, 2, 1. Oh, totally messed that one up. Let's go on out of this one. Let's go and get into some of these third party applications that have on both. Now, these are pretty big games, so we'll see how they run. Genshin Impact 3, 2, 1. Now, we're going to get into the loading screen between both. So, and it'll be pretty interesting to see which one is the faster one here. And it's kind of probably going to look like iOS 15 is going to be the faster one here as well. Again, I, I don't know for a fact, but just from the first two seconds here, it's looking like iOS 15 again is going to be faster to load into it. And you can see to get into the loading panel a little bit faster on iOS 15, but it really wasn't that crazy big of a difference. It's going to happen to PUBG 3, 2, 1. And I don't know why iOS 16 is just hanging there. I think I saw this happen before. So it just never loaded on iOS 16, which was very weird. Apex Legends 3, 2, 1. So even here, like during these, you know, loading panels, it still seems to be much faster on iOS 15. And iOS 16 is a little bit behind, but again, it's not a crazy big deal getting out of these ones. Let's go and get into some other ones. I mean, we have like the basic stock ones, and I'll definitely tell you even here, it's probably going to be faster on iOS 15, 3, 2, 1. Almost identically the same, very interesting. Let's do shortcuts, 3, 2, 1. Kind of the same thing too. iTunes Store, 3, 2, 1. Pretty much the same thing. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's try translate, 3, 2, 1. And iOS 15 again is the faster one. So I definitely do think when it comes down to it, iOS 15 is still a little bit faster than iOS 16. So this is another example of a reason why I wouldn't really go from iOS 15 to iOS 16 just yet. I would wait until it gets all substantially faster, a little bit faster, as well as a little bit more stable. But I do think, I mean, there hasn't really been any major app crashes that I've experienced, which is good. Things seem to be fairly stable, and there's not like a RAM management issue either. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.